Your pants are definitely too tight. Alright then, boy, welcome back to what will be the final part in the Constructor full campaign Egomania playthrough. I am Let Him Come In It, and without further ado, I've also listened. That little click you hear there, I've also just realised, I think is the exact same sound effect they use for, what was it, Theme Park on the Mega Drive, which I will be playing at a later date as well. So, enjoy that one you may. Right, what's going on? So, now it's just a case of finishing off all of these special commissions, basically. Love this music. Music's banging. Listen. <clears throat> all the music on this game's banging, actually. I've said this many times before, but I'm going to... Uh, same track there. It's because they're happy. You get that noise when they're happy. That's the happy tune. I'm going to use some of this in my outro music from now on. And uh, maybe even in... Yeah, why not? In this video, I will use this. Oh, it's lovely. It's like lounge music. Lounge singer music. I use some in my outro to my video from now on. It's uh, I'll find the best track. They should have done a CD for... Uh, Constructed soundtracks, I guess. This this sounds pretty outro y. <laughs> I think they'll do. I'll check it out. Listen out. See if you uh, if you can tell if anyone can tell which uh, track it is and where it's from in the comments below at the end. Okay. So yeah, this is now just gonna be finishing off special commissions. They each take oh, saturation point for level one tenants. Yeah, I'll stop that. Each take 20 units of each material, so I'm going to keep them fully stocked. Out of the way, slobs. All the slobs are a lot happier now because they have windows double glazing, so they don't have to listen to my factory, and I don't have to listen to their slobby voices. It's like Wayne and Waynetta out of uh, the slobs on um, Harry Enfield and Friends. Is there now an insurance broker pair? I will try and get the bankers, not the bankers, yeah, the bankers. That will reduce my, they'll reduce my bill to the tax collector, which is what they do if you get five of the, the other side, they are the insurance, no, not the insurance broker, just the bankers. Call them the bankers, the two people at the top of the tree. Oh, <coughs> someone's died. I'll deal with that in a minute. You don't believe it. Moaning, moaning, you know what they're moaning about. Ma moaning about the rent, aren't they? Yeah. I'll just put it up to annoy them a bit more. And then put it down. This is probably the least offensive. Oh, that's far too, you're far too happy. And just whack it all the way back down again. That's fine. You're dead. You can put the level one tenants in these houses. Um, they don't, they, they'll say something like, oh, it's a bit up market for us, but they, they don't mind. They will move in and live there quite happily. But they won't be able to do any of the things the level fives and fours can do, obviously. But you can't put anyone from the higher tiers into the, like, say, if I was to try and get the Sloans and the stockbrokers. Oh, I've got uh, some special tenants, not special tenants, some special housing plans. If I was to get the level five tenants to move into a level one house, they'd just refuse and say, yeah, it's too slobby, I'm no way. Loads of bullshit like that. The Russian. Yeah, I'm just going to whack it. Since I've got time to spare now. I mean, I've probably even got the money. Oh, they must all be in the factories. I've probably even got the money now to put one house on one whole estate. Who's there? Which I might do, just to be opulent and roll around in my big money pit. <coughs> prove I'm the biggest producer of whack houses. Come on, Emlyn Kettle. And you... Oh, they've all died at the same time. You can see they have a long lifespan, though. They've got a long time to live for. So they've only had to replace these. This is the first time I've had to replace these guys in this playthrough. Where slobs just die at the drop of a hat. Oh, God. That's the most annoying tenant complaint sound, is the slobs, I think. By and far. Just moaning about to pay rent. Better to keep him on the baby train if possible. Oh, you paid me £156. Terrible. The uppies die very frequently as well. They haven't got as very good life. Well, out of the two pairs, like I say, there's always one that has a longer life and one that has better repro reproduction. And these guys are the better reproducers of the pair. 
rather than the old biddy with the purple helmet, as I've touched on earlier, and her professor husband. What a loveless relationship. It's a bit like Tyson the Bouquet, I guess. <laughs> like a horrible nightmare vision of her. Okay, let's get some. Yeah, let's get the bankers in. Damon and Cole. And I'll just show off the other fences, paddle fence. They'll probably complain straight away that they they want a railing <coughs> fence. Oh god. See, that better not be about uh, that they want railings immediately. I mean, that's just poor show, guys. What are you moaning about? Uh, Jins is next door, keep buying things. They just want... They've only moved in two seconds, and their immediate concern is garden furniture and rose arbors. What a bunch of snobs. Okay, well, who's left? Who's complaining now? Oh, yeah, it's the same person we're talking about. Okay, what have we got? So, how far are we? Back to my favourite state in the world, Futtock End. Or Futtock's End. So halfway through, you almost almost produced a new place for me. And I'll just put it in the bottom bit over there. Tax bill. Boom. Yeah, this is why I want to get some of these bankers in. Because they'll reduce my tax bill. Just everything was so well thought out in this game. So much time and effort went into everything. Even the sound effects of gold. Level 3 tenants, you say? That would be you, bunch of baby-making bastards. And you're already paid the game. That's fine. They have a really short lifespan, those guys. They are maybe the shortest lifespan in the game, though. But it feels like it anyway. They're always dying. Hippies live for quite a long time. The punks have quite a short lifespan. And the sort of slobs. Look at him. From ugly monkey Scrooge man. The cooks hang out the Muppets. Bloody Muppet. Right, what's going on? Oh, look, there you go, just uh, saying that the punks have died. I don't... Uh, yeah, just in case I need some more tenants. Right, so I'm sitting pretty comfortably now. 250 grand in the bank. No more council missions. I want this to be a really hard mission to complete with the opposing player trying to attack you. I don't know what the computer players play for, if they're, if they're also playing for the same mission or they, I think they're just there to basically cause you trouble. Because uh, I've never had a computer player complete the mission before me, because I don't think they're capable of it. The AI just is there literally just to build on your land. Right now they'd be building, see I've got a small square left, that's what they'd be doing, building straight there one of their ugly houses. The other player also gets like strange fences as well, they get kind of like your fences but they're different, the ones you can't build in the game. I often thought that you could build them yourself, but oh, I should slow down probably a minute. I need to get, let's get some bankers in because I want to reduce my tax bill. And I need some more level fives. This should, no, they're still not the fifth one. So that person in that new house at the end where I build that, that should be, that should be the special commission. And it should also be my last pair until I get someone who reduces my tax bill. Oh, some more hippies have died with some punks. Oh, damn, running out of level fives. Not problemo. Yeah, get some hippies. Get them in there. Okay, so I've got plenty of level ones. Enough level twos. Plenty of level threes. Level fours are okay. Level five is what I need. So I could do with... I've already set them off. I'll oh, have a look in a minute. Yeah, definitely need some more level fives now. Who's got the best bedrooms? You are producing. You should be reproducing. Those houses, um, yeah, I guess they do look quite nice compared to the wooden shacks on the first estate. I was about to say they don't look very nice, but I mean, when you look at them, they do look pretty nice compared to my wooden shack in the, what is essentially a trailer park. And you can see it gets a little uh, FMV of the house as you spin around and, well, not FMV, is it? It's just a video. Shows you the graphics as you spin around and have a look at the outside of the house. I can't remember if it does it for the special commissions or not. I'll have a look later. Okay. 
I don't know, that cuckoo noise that keeps happening, I don't think there's actually anything in the game that that represents a from the cuckoo, obviously. Uh, if anyone does know anything about that noise, if there is actually something happening in the game, then do let me know, but I think it is just ambient background noise. Oh, I've run out of level 4 seconds as well, or running out. It just becomes a... Oh, good. That's the new plans, finally. It just becomes a balancing act now, really. Balancing out your resources, your money, and your time. Ooh, Japanese. That's massive. Hopefully I've got enough room to put stuff in the garden. Oh, they need to go to the hospital. Move your fat ass. I need to call all the work teams in. Boom, 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 quickly. Because I've got another special commission coming. Apparently I've got infinite work teams to call. I'll stop doing that now. Oh god, look how slow. I've called that work bell millions of times and they're just kind of pottering along down the road like... Crappy fatties. There we go, there we go. Work party. Work party. Okay, yeah, that's almost... They're almost ready to release that, so... Let's get a move on. Let's get a move on, people. Get in there and get building. Is that my little builder sign? The yellow tree. Yellow pine tree. Fair enough, I'll take it. Quickly, boys. Right, boom. And I will also have... Yeah, I haven't showed off the hedged brick hedge wall. That's quite nice, isn't it? And everyone else in the hospital, you all can all go there for a spell of recuperation. These boys, these are the fat boys. Tea break. Tea break. Hello. Yeah, get in there, Trifffish. You compactor. What else? What are you? You are... I don't know what that is. It's like a staple gun. Or a nail gun. There you go. Justice of the peace. Oh, what? Damn. That's not what I wanted. I thought the stockbrokers were the people who got me my tax bill reduced. They're not. They're just people who keep criminals in jail longer. Damn. There's some trees. And a rose arbor. Uh, oh. Oh, dear. This is not going to bode well. Uh, oh no, <laughs> they've immediately complained. Oh, I should have thought about this. But I'm just going to get numerous complaints from these guys now because I can't bloody place that in their garden. How long have I got left? I'm going to get... Oh, that's okay. They're not going to give me any black marks if I don't sort it out. So I won't sort it out. They'll just complain and complain and complain until the cows come home. Let me see how many white marks have I got, actually. Uh, 1,100, yeah, not a problem. Even if they were reducing it by 50 each time, that's like 11. What do you want? 11 times that. Hmm. Get in there, Colin Slater, you handy repairman. And I'll build the next special commission over here. Have I already... I have already got the special commission, I think, haven't I? I'll build... get all those boys in there as well. And I'll also show the yuppies as well. I will buy another house for the yuppies to live in just to reduce my tax bill. Because it's them. It's those guys who reduce the council tax. Well, council tax. Tax bill. They have to pay the council tax, not the other way around. Right. What? So it's the pub. Have I built the pub yet? Yes, I have built the pub. It will be... I know the last one is the Pyramid, which I'm going to try and dedicate one whole massive land square to. I can't remember what this, this next one is. It's another ridiculous house that no one would ever live in, but who am I to judge? Right, what's going on here? Yeah, basically already built it. Already built the plan. Someone's died as well. That's not my concern. Now I'm just going to start taking up what? masses... Massive swathes of land with my amazing constructions. The council would surely not object. Thank you. Yes, what is this? The Dutch. Looks like an observatory. I'll build that. 50 grand. Nice. Uh, no, I don't want it right in the middle because it might block me from being able to build all the things around the outside as what just happened, which was no good. Yeah, the greases. Get the greases in. I need people in my work shops. 
Ah, oh, you're dead. No problemo. Your wife with a bunch of grapes for hair. Yeah, I need some more rose arbors. I need some more. What else? Get in there. Let's have some of that. Let's have some of that. And some more trees. These people love their trees. Right, what's going on, boys? You're taking too long. Let's have, let's have some trees here. I mean, what? look at the size of this garden. Where I just I'm dumbfounded. These people, <laughs> these people still complain. They don't have the right to bloody complain. Yeah, they're just going to complain forever, those guys over there. They're never, ever going to stop moaning until... Actually, they might die before their complaint goes through. Oh, no, they won't. Their lives are way too long on. Look how long they live for. That could be due to the bathroom's been... The kitchen's been upgraded, actually. Gives them a longer life if you've upgraded to level 5. Oh, imagine the children. Imagine, think of the children, people. Please don't, for the love of God, don't have any children. None of the people in this game should. I don't know, Elvis is pretty cool. I like, unlike the greasy, greasy dude. He's the best, he's my favourite. I don't know about your wife, though. She looks like a butcher. With the white apron, not the butchers. Look like the well, the female butchers are ugly people, just saying. She looks like a butcher because she's wearing a white coat. Ah, oh, I didn't mean to evict them. Yeah, if you evict your tenants and they give you that letter, basically it means they're going to trash the place. So, if you evict them, then... Oh, actually, those level fives, they're never evicted level five because it's just a waste of time and money researching them and getting the babies made. But maybe they'll, like, fine you or get the council to sell your house or something because I know the slobs and level two punks and stuff, they just trash your house. You have to just go and repair it. But these guys might actually take you to the cleaners. Monetary-wise, you can have the big horrible, what looks like iron brick fence. Hurry up, boys. Yeah, that. It's the same fence they use on the school. I can't remember what they call it. It looks like horrible. Yeah, they're not going to die before the complaint fizzles out. That's okay. You can complain to the cows come home. I'm just gonna. If they don't kill, cause many black marks, then it's not a problem. Now who's moaning? Renters. Oh, man, you were my favourite. I don't know anymore. They live. Uh, they live quite a long time, actually. Those greasers. Almost as long as the bankers. Albert and Shea fans. Now it's going to take ages for that grass to appear because it's. Whoop. See, yeah, those level threes are dead again. I swear, I've only just replaced them. These, the, the, these are like the old bracket, full of old people. Da -da 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 -da. Now all I need to do is keep money coming in. Yeah, I've got ten level fives in use. That's just an astronomical amount. Come on, Posty. You can play. There are other maps in this game, obviously, as well. But you have to play them without cheating. You have to play them with the difficulty up and with the uh, computer players on as well. I think the difficulty. I don't think the difficulty up changes any of the council missions. I'm not sure on that. I don't think it does. It just makes the people more unhappy. But correct me <laughs> if I'm wrong. And that little noise was the complaint going through to the council and me not doing anything about it. Sometimes on playthroughs you just have multiple like evil laughs going on in the background when you're failing all the missions and everyone's complaining and you can't do anything about it because you don't have any money and it's very stressful but luckily I seem to be on top of the game on this one What do you want? Eh, uh, are you kidding Noah? Hello Russ Guppy Friendly Neighbourhood Scouse Man I don't want to do much I just want to check if you can build one across the whole uh, you can't I was wondering if you could build a house across an entire massive estate yeah, yeah. Oh, they do give me 50 bat marks each time this happens. That's not a problem. You can continue giving me 50 bat marks because I've got oodles and oodles of white marks. If I convert them all into cash at the HQ, then I would be in trouble because I would be starting to go into the black. And that would mean if I started to get like 200 black marks or maybe 500 or something, you got fired. Black marks of the council is not what you want. Also, little, the little sign that's the auto repair sign here down by Russ Guppy. 
I always thought it was like him in a trash can or something. Him in a looks like he's in a bin, but it's just him carrying his toolbox. So I, I was a kid. I was like, "What is that? Why, why is he like Oscar the Grouch in the bin or something?" What do you want? Oh, I want you to do some work, but there's no house for you to do that. It just it just reeks of charm. This guy, this game has oodles of charm, right from the little uh, icons and everything. I can't sing its praises high enough. Finally, yeah, there you go, the massive pyramid. It's 50 grand again. All of the special commissions are 50 grand. But the floor plan or the the uh, foundations are a lot bigger. And I'll also show the bankers as well. So I'll just get them in here. This is a case of having too much cash and not enough money. But it's all out, out of skew, because even in the 90s, 345,000 was not enough to build a massive mansion like that. Actually, it's probably enough to build it, it's not enough to buy it. In this day and age, you can't even buy a house with 350 grand down where I live. 350k! Right, and replace all of you. Okay, you more of you are dead. This should be a cakewalk. Should be a cakewalk. As soon as this pyramid's complete, I will have completed my egomania uh, playthrough. <laughs> Just my egomania in general, I've completed. Let's fill the garden up with crap. I'll put some deciduous trees in there as well, I think, because they're massive. Boom. Oh, you've got a forest. You've got all the trees. Uh, shouldn't have done that because they're going to complain about not having trees. But I don't care, because all the black marks in the game couldn't stop me now. Yeah, tax consultant. That's what I was looking to show you. Bring down my tax. Not that it matters now, because we're right at the end of the game. I generally don't build as many yuppies, or house as many yuppies, because they're they're really annoying and they complain about more things than the professor guy. You get a brick wall. Oh, it's going to take him ages to do all that. There you go. Brick wall. I should have just given him a hedge to piss him off. I need another work gang in here. Gonna need some of this stuff and some more trees. Okay, I should move somebody into this. Uh, who do I want? You. <laughs> you live longer. Yes, that's the jolly laugh of me saying, I don't care. Yeah, it should be complete. Unless I have to wait till all this grass has died off. I really hope I don't. Oh, this could have been a mistake building it this big. <laughs> yeah, I built them all. They're all built. Would you mind? Well, it, it should complete itself in a minute. Uh, in the meantime, I'll just doss around. <laughs> Get it? Doss, <laughs> doss around, doss game. Trottle, trottle. Uh, I'll just do something in the meantime. Oh, shut up. And I'll just fill your garden with, like, maybe I'll just give them a well. Oh, no. If you if you give them anything else in their garden, then all these other wankers will start wanting a saying. So don't give them anything else in their garden. Oh! Lo and behold. It's the end screen. Lovely. Check this out. Supposed to be like your 90s stereotypical dude. I do not believe it's actually quite disgusting. Oh, there you have it. That. Oh, check that. It was a cow, mate. Boom, boy. There's so many good tunes in this. I, I have to make my own CD of this, this constructed soundtrack. So there you have it. That is the final episode of the Constructor 
full campaign playthrough on Egomania. If you've liked what you've seen, do please like the video and subscribe to my channel if you are that way inclined. There's much more of this stuff to come. Comment down below on anything I have missed or on your own experiences with Constructor yourself. And I've been letting come in it. And as usual, a thank you and good night.